Writing citations is a pain, but Grammarly can save you time creating citations quickly and easily. You can even use AI. Let me show you how it works. You'll need a premium version of Grammarly to use its AI tool to create citations. That costs $30 per month, but I do have a premium discount, which you could get in the link below this video. I do earn a small commission if you sign up, but don't worry, you can also use a free tool that Grammarly offers if you'd rather not take out the premium subscription. If you're a Grammarly Premium customer, you get access to its AI Assistant. And that AI Assistant can help you create citations from any website online. Here's an example of how it works. This is an article that appeared some time ago on the Washington Post, all about Oprah Winfrey leaving Weight Watchers. I could copy this article to my clipboard, then I could head over to Grammarly, click on the Generative AI button, and ask it to summarize the contents of my clipboard. Now Grammarly will give me a summarized version of the article in question. Of course, I don't want to plagiarize the Washington Post, so I could just link to the Washington Post or I could create a citation. I can do that by copying the URL and the headline, heading over to Grammarly and using this prompt. Create an MLA citation of this article and URL. When I click on the generative AI button, it may ask for some more information. So I'm gonna put in the Washington Post. And now Grammarly has given me a correctly formatted citation that I can use in the article in question. Bear in mind, if you're going to use Grammarly like this, you may want to check the date and also verify that the citation is correct. If you're managing your citations inside of the Grammarly writing app, remember to go over to goals and to pick your preferred citation style as well, because this will affect the recommendations and outputs from Grammarly. If you install the Grammarly plugin for Chrome, you get access to this handy little Get Citation button. It's available on lots of different websites online, including Wikipedia. I plug James Patterson into Wikipedia, and now if I click on Get Citation, I get access to a citation that I can quickly copy to my clipboard and then paste into my writing app of choice. If I'm not happy with the citation style, I can change it from MLA to APA or Chicago. And once I make this change, it'll update then I can head back over to my writing app and paste in the citation, all correctly formatted. It's also available in ChatGPT. I put in this prompt, give me a brief summary of James Patterson's writing career. And now if I click on Get Citation, you'll see that I get a prompt that I can paste directly into my clipboard. What I like about this is, it includes the exact prompt that I put into ChatGPT and the date. And again, I can change the citation style from Chicago to MLA to APA. At the time of recording this video, the citation manager isn't available on every website. So it's on Wikipedia, ChatGPT, and over a dozen different academic journals and well-known sites. So if you don't see Get Citation, then just presume the website isn't supported yet. If you'd rather not use AI or you're on the basic version of Grammarly, just visit grammarly.com forward slash citations and you can create your citations manually. So from the Washington Post article that I showed you a few moments ago, I put in APA, source, newspaper, and I put in the author's first, last name and publication date. And now I get a citation that I can bring over to my writing app of choice. That's an overview of how you can use Grammarly to create your citations. As you can see, it's a real time saver and creating citations is easier than ever thanks to generative AI. What questions do you have about Grammarly? Let me know in the comment section below this video and I'll help if I can.